This is part two of the stencil video. Uh, sorry for this introduction. Uh, I am working on getting my stencil material. In this case, it is just a brown paper bag. You can use uh, acetate or wax paper if you wanted to. If you're using something that is transparent like acetate, transparency, wax paper, you can put the, the stencil material on top of your image and cut through just the stencil material. In this case, since I'm using a brown paper bag, uh, I'm trimming it down to size and I'm going to put my image on top of the paper bag material. What this allows me to do, um, here I've cut it down. I left the paper bag a little bit larger so that I can tape it down and it won't shift. Uh, by putting the image on top of the brown paper, I can then use the X-Acto blade and I'm going to cut out the black parts of my image would become the positive part of my image when I'm using this as a stencil. This process is pretty straightforward. Uh, you're going to want to change your, your angle of your hand as you're cutting so that you're always kind of pulling it rather than um, trying to push it along a direction. You can use your other hand to support and keep it tight as you cut away. One thing that's really important about your stencil material is it has to be firm enough that it holds up to these really intricate little cuts. What I mean by that is if you use something that's very flimsy like a, a tracing paper, tracing paper might be great because you can see through it, but it's not going to hold up uh, when, you, when you start putting all these holes in it. It will be very hold, hard to hold that image together. The uh, brown paper that's being used for this bag, it's rigid enough that it will, sh I can cut out those shapes and it will still maintain a very flat surface. Something ideal would be something like a, uh, a heavy illustration board, but then you run into, it's gonna be really hard to cut through. So I really do recommend something in the middle ground, something like a brown paper bag. Uh, it's easy enough that you can cut. In this case, I'm cutting all the way through my image and then I have to sometimes retrace back through uh, to cut out the stencil material. I am using a cutting mat. This will save your table. Uh, and if you don't have a cutting mat, you can just use a, a thick piece of cardboard. Um, here you can see some of that texture of that cutting board showing through. So what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm eliminating all these black sections of my drawing, trying to be as faithful to the the drawing as I possibly can. All right, some of these details in the chin. And you can play around with it. You can get very small with these shapes. Always keep in mind that you have to have that, that connector, that bridge, so that it, whole sections don't fall out of your drawing.